hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to pass a variables from one page to another page using local storage with jQuery and here we got a new output with a text box control and button control I'm entering the name Charan click see here we got the value from page 1 to page 2 it's Charan let's check Jack See here we got Jack. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags H1, H2 and horizontal line. Now my aim is, I want to pass the variables using local storage with jQuery to this page too. Now before adding the functionality to use the local storage to pass the variables from page 1 to page 2, first we'll check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains at this moment the page 1, the header tags and the horizontal line. Now my aim is I'll pass variables from page 1 to page 2 using jQuery with local storage. So when we are using jQuery functionality, the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link. For that I am adding search for latest jQuery CDN Google. And from the search results, I am selecting the first option hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains the jQuery. Click that one. Here you can find different CDN snippets. I am selecting the version 3.3.1. Just copy this one and add in our page 1 local storage HTML page between the header tags. After adding the jQuery CDN, now in the body, after the horizontal line, I am adding the input type is equals to text id is equals to pass variable I'm closing this input text box control the next control I'm adding the button control input type is equals to button value is equals to click and id is equals to button 1 of the button control now after adding the controls next step I am writing the jQuery script close the script dollar function Now in this function I am adding the button click event dollar between double quotes and we are adding the IDs in the JavaScript or jQuery we need to prefix with hash button one dot click function now in the click function we are getting the value from the text box control so I am declaring a variable the username is equals to dollar between double quotes we are getting the value from the text box control so I am adding the id of the text box control which is pass variable hash pass variable dot val method after that once we get the value from the text box control, I want to save the text box value into local storage. Local storage dot get item set item sorry. So it's dot set item. The set item takes two parameters. The first one is a key which I'm adding get value comma the second parameter I'm adding the username is a value from the text box control after that 
after I save the value into this local storage now I want to pass the values to this page too for that I'm using window.location.href is equals to between double quotes I'm adding the page to URL page to hyphen local storage dot htm is a page name of this page too let's save this file that's it we have written the coding part in page one now in the page two we have to receive the values from the page one text box control now in the body in the page two body i'm adding the span tag id is equals to the span tag id is result I'm closing the span tag. Here I'm adding welcome. After span tag, I'm adding the script. Script. In the script, and the script, I'm adding document dot get element element by ID between double quotes I'm adding the ID the span result dot inner HTML is equals to we are using local storage to get the value so use copy the local storage dot get item I capital the get item function takes one parameter which is a key the key is the get value copy this one and paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final results on the browser i'm reloading the browser and here we got a new output with the text box control and button control I'm entering the name Charan click see here we got the value from page 1 to page 2 Charan let's check Jack see here we got Jack and one more important thing is I'm using local storage to pass values from page 1 to page 2 but copy this one and I paste here the page 2 URL see here still we got the jack value so to clear the local storage values simply we need to clear the sessions more tools clear browsing data clear data after I clear the browser data now when I reload this page see after reload the page the local storage values are vanished and this one also when I refresh that's it